G'day mate, welcome back. I need this 58cc um, saw. So what I'm going to do, you can see a uh, pointer stick with that. You can see witness marks um, from the original pistol and stuff. So that shows you exactly how far the rings go down. So the piston goes up the piston, piston goes up the cylinder, the piston comes down and where it stops. So I'm going to cut a bit more out, so I'll do the same part I've done here before, but lower that down, but don't go past that, that wee point there. So I'm going to go about 15 mils off this edge of the cylinder. So I measure that roughly about. Now, the way this is set up, there's so much more I can get out of this thing. The windows are covered up some bad, so you look at that way there. The window towards the exhaust is almost covered up. So I've got to make sure when I port this, that window is exposed. So the window towards the intake is, is open, it's not, not a problem at all. But the um, exhaust one is completely shut. So I've got to grind into that section just there. Got to be careful though because there's um, the cylinder bolts that go through, straight through. Like I don't want to go into that. But I want to make sure I can open that um, part of the cylinder up to the actual thing. To the actual window so when the piston goes bottom dead center it actually squeezes past to that window otherwise at the moment when i alleviate this center divider i will let a bit more air through and all that but it's just not this particular um, window here this transfer it's one of the big, biggest ones there you look at the size of it but it's getting no real arm um, for airflow so i want to impro improve that but i can't go through the side wall so i'll be careful how much you do but just if you do it just um take your time the windows on the um, piston are very small, so I want to get into them, chew them out a bit. Um, especially the one towards the back of the cylinder, so the one there on the left. I want to open that up because that one's already exposed to the transfer, but um, the exhaust side one on the right here, it's not really opened up at all, so I will um, open up a tad, but it's pretty well pointless, but that's the plan, I'll make that bigger. Uh, the intake, uh, it's funny, you look, go back and look at your work from years ago, um, COVID, um, your timing numbers and stuff, it's one of those things you re-measure something you haven't done for a long time. Now, the intake on this was um, 79, 80 degrees, I checked it out and checked it out, it's basically 81 degrees, so I'm not going to go any further down, the reason for that is just here. So close to busting through the bottom of the intake. Um, I don't bust a hole. I always have to start JB Wardens. But I have worked out you put the cylinder, the piston in your cylinder, and go bop, just drop your piston. So drop your piston in like that. That's the problem there's sound. So I'll top this sound. You can see how much um, restriction is just here on both sides. So I'm going to um, Mickey Mousey's, I call it Solon. Solo did it first. I'm going to go down here and go chop these out, let more air flow, so that's going to introduce more, introduce more air and um, fuel. Got to be careful though, you've got those um, pins in your cell, on your piston. Down the back side there, the pins that hold your rings in the right spot. If you go too wide, you'll actually have problems with that. Um, so you don't want to go too wide on the actual intake, otherwise your ring will fall off inside your intake. So. You know, I'll grind this stuff up, put it together, and I'll show you a sec. Okay, this is not finished, but you'll get the idea. Now, the piston at, at, at bottom dead centre. Straighten that down up a little bit. I'll put it down. I lost from the bottom. Twist the piston a bit more. I think it's about right. Cops are after someone. I don't find me in the shit now. The window that was covered before on the piston is now open. So you see the screwdriver from behind that there. Now I've got airflow. Now this is far as low as the piston will ever come in the cylinder. So if you're doing this, be careful. Make sure your, your rings are always got um, something to sit on, otherwise you'll destroy your motor. Now that one there, you can see that there, no problem at all. Um, I've straightened out the exhaust too because I thought. I looked down in the exhaust, there's a bit of a lump, so I've done some free, freehand porting on the very um, base of that pit cylinder. 
I was sure. Base was just there as a little lump, so I'll clean it up, and make sure it's a nice arch, so um, you don't want straight lines, so your rings will get hung up. But I've removed the um, this uh, center line here. Um, it's nowhere near the ring where the rings will sit. Rings will still sit on some fresh meat just here, so it's safe to rev that crap out of the thing. But there's more airflow, so. Get your windows lined up, windows lined up with your transfers, you get more air. Now the intake of um, Mickey Mouse here that there, so that's what they'll look like. I haven't finished it yet. But um that's where the, the piston sits bottom the uh yeah, piston sits at the top of the town. So oh, there's more for stuff to remove there. So you see where I put that black marker. Black marker indicates where the piston sits normally. So that's one side, but that that shows you. So the piston, let's see. Side opened up, so the wind is big. Let's stand to it. So, see how they're a lot more um, narrow. The one there, it's towards my um, the right is one facing the exhaust, one left is um, one facing the exhaust, so it's bigger. The back one there, opened up too big, they need to open up too much more because it's already got heaps of airflow. But you see, it's been um, closed up a bit. But that's it, guys. So, if you want to do that, um, I don't know why I filled around so much with the um. 62cc soil because um this is a far better way of um breathing um with this particular soil um so i thought oh hopefully i'll, I'll get some more time on this thing but i've only ever had one uh 58cc soil and this had a twin transfer at first it was so colors it's not funny this four quad transfer chamber cylinder had so much more power and compression it was not funny but i haven't really mucked around with this one so I've, I'm going. I'm going to play some more with this. But to give you an idea, when you're looking at these things, um, in this cylinder here, hope you guys can see that. I'll zoom in. In the cylinder itself, actually, it says 50, uh, 58 on it there. So that's one way of telling the um what the piston is. The piston where your, your gadget pin sits is slightly different, or your, your wrist pin is different to 52, uh, 43 different height inside that so that's another way and the ring also on this piston is really thin probably about 1.2 I'd say but it's thin than the other one so just things that you pay attention to see so if you've got parts you can easily work out the parts are now these are the, the 40 52 cc um source 45 um mils this is 45.2 so no much difference but um, you won't get this into a 52, and you, even if you did somehow, I don't know how you'd do it, but um, you get them pinned in the wrong spot, so you, you, your stroke changes, so all these little different things. All right, um, this will be the end of this thing. I'll clean this up, get it on, and um, next video, you'll see it running. All right, guys, over and out.